Dubai's hotel sector is booming as the Emirate continues to gear up for Expo 2020. But what happens the year after in 2021 when all those extra visitors go home? We've been talking to some hotel industry experts this week to find out. So, Burns, thanks for joining us. Um, how much is the sector actually expanding at the moment? Well, by 2020, there'll be an additional 50,000 rooms, which is a very impressive figure when you take into account that there's only about 100,000 at the moment. Mm. Um, so it's a huge increase, and there'll be about 25 million visitors that come to Dubai for Expo during that six-month period of the event. Um, so it's really impressive, but of course there is concerns then of what happens after. I mean, there's been cities that have hosted major events, let's say an Olympics, um, that haven't been particularly successful in keeping that momentum going forward after the event. Mm -hmm. Somehow, however, Barcelona, for example, initially dipped and then it performed very well because it was kind of a, a great showcase for Barcelona. Uh, but of course, I think the obvious question that many people are asking is what's going to happen in Dubai after that expo? And what did the experts tell us? Well, Oliver Harnish, who's the CEO of Amar Hospitality, he essentially said that there's no reason to worry because the growth of visitors to Dubai isn't necessarily tied to Expo. So visitors will be growing about 7-8% each year until then, um, and there'll be about 2.5 million uh, hotel nights in the market each year. So mm. things are growing quite rapidly and what he had said previously was that it would be foolish for developers to build hotels with solely Expo in mind. Uh, because if you build it that way, then you're kind of setting yourself up for failure in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it, he had also said, you know, like I said about Barcelona, that if Expo goes well, it's kind of the best showcase of Dubai for the world. So there's no reason to think that fewer people would come after that. Mm. So if we talk about how they're going to um, expand the, the audience, I believe that the market is changing and developing. Yeah, the market's changing quite rapidly. One stat I thought was really interesting was that in 2017, there was a 98% increase in Russian tourists to Dubai. Wow. Um, you know, there's different reasons for that. There's visa regulations and, you know, the, the Russian economy. Um, also, Chinese tourists grew by double digits over the same time frame, also because largely because of visa um, regulations being mm -hmm. lifted. Uh, but it just shows, I mean, these are, this is a, these are huge new markets of people that are coming to Dubai as, you know, from different source countries in addition to the traditional ones, for example, India and the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I've seen the Chinese tourists are now number four. Um, in the entire you know, scope of source countries. So, I mean, if that continues, I mean, there'll be demand for hotels. Mm. I think I've, we've talked about this before. The potential for visitors within a four to six hour flight away from Dubai is vast. Of course, yeah. So when we talk about the expanding nature of hotels, you've got to look at the potential for the market. Of course, and I mean, aside from Expo, there's also, you know, Dubai's medical tourism strategies, lots of things that are bringing people here, um, mm. which all, you know, lead creates the man for hotels. Okay, okay. But, of course, um, it is a competitive market. After 2020, they have got to have a bit of a, a plan for what to do afterwards. So what are hotels doing to adapt to the changing landscape? Well, what Oliver Harnish said was that, you know, hotels have to become used to the idea that there might be three or four different hotels in the same vicinity as theirs. Mm. Um, so, you know, occupancy rates might be a bit lower, but what it really means, as he said, is that hotels need to kind of think about being efficient, for example. I mean, there's lots of hotels with lots of empty space, um, you know, so even the way hotels are built will have to change to, to maximize space, to, mm. to maximize the experience. Mm. Um, because as you said, it's, a, it's still a business and you know, a very competitive one in Dubai especially. Mm. So hotels will really need to take that into account planning wise going forward. Mm. Okay, so overall, just to sum up, uh, we've got this huge growth in supply, but it seems that the experts have told us this week that if they get it right, uh, the opportunities are there to fill all those rooms and to have sustained success after Expo. Yeah, of course. And I mean, if, if everything goes according to plan, there'll be huge demand even ex after Expo. So okay. That's great, great for the hotel industry. Great. Okay, well, you've been watching Inside AB. Um, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do join us every day at 10 a.m. And please do comment below. Uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this matter. What do you think? Is the hotel industry going to be oversupplied? Are we going to fill those rooms? What's going to happen after 2020? Uh, do leave your thoughts. Okay, thank you.